Welcome guys, welcome back to our online devotions. It's so good that you can share this short time with us at the start of your day. From now onwards, we're gonna be doing a devotion online on Mondays and Fridays. So they'll be there on YouTube and Facebook for you to think about and have a prayer about whenever you want. We're gonna be thinking about over these next five to six weeks, a really reassessment, going back to basics about what are our values? At Lighthouse, we have three core values, worshiping God, which we're gonna think about today, making disciples and transforming communities. But before we go any further, let's just think about what are our values? Why are they important to us? Well, they're important to us because what we value marks the way we live and work. And it should, they determine our priorities. They determine our vision. For Lighthouse, that's to be a hub church in North Norfolk or a Minster church. But it does it in the light of our values. They scratch where we itch real deep down. They are not just what we do. They make our actions speak louder. Actions should match our values. And when decisions and behavior align with your values, you have integrity. And now at this time, more than ever, we need to be a church of integrity. So people need to see me and they need to see you and they need to see our values being lived in our lives. One mission organization called Horizons that I've always had huge respect for, they describe their values as an organization like this. They say, they are local and global, that's true. They're the body of Christ in a location and they have a worldwide work and vision. They believe in indigenous church. They believe in having churches that are run by local people within that culture. They believe in boldness and radical faith. They believe in organism over organization. How many churches close because they become organizations. They believe in biblical faithfulness, that we keep true to scripture and kingdom coll collaboration. You know, if you think you've got it perfectly right and you're the only thing that God's doing as a believer, then you're pretty screwed up in your theology and your thinking, because there's always more that God will speak about. And we need to partner with other believers as much as we can. So we thought there about what our values are like. They are the things that make us get up in the morning, that make us want to do church. So what's our first one? Our first one is this, worship God. And just for these last few minutes, I want us to think about that, not as a kind of congregational concept, but what does that mean for me? What does that mean to you? How is worship central to your life? If we were to look at your bank statement or your credit card statement, what would it say you worship? How is Jesus Lord? How is Christ the object of all your desires? Whether we like it or not, our discipleship calls us to obedience, to bow the knee, to worship our Saviour, not just in our singing, but in our living, so that we're worshippers 24-7. As we come out of this pandemic and move into this new season, will you give your saviour time? Will he be the object of your worship? Will you give others time? We used to sing an old song in the children's group I used to go to called J-O-Y, J-O-Y. And it was supposed to be Jesus, yourself first, 
others in between. And the truth is, in our self-worth culture, that's very unpopular. But there is a truth that when we truly worship, we give ourselves away in the service of others. Where's the evidence that you worship him? Where's the evidence that I worship him? He is my Lord and my Saviour. Is there anything I wouldn't do for him? So Lighthouse, consider anew how you're a worshipper of God. And may you know that God calls you into intimacy and relationship with him today. God bless you.